Hello, everyone. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So, um, let's see, running down the, I'll give you a rundown on the many things we have in the viewer pipeline. We got a lot there now. Um, we have a release candidate viewer for experimenting with bug splat crash reporting. Um, that should be functionally identical to the, the current default viewer except for the fact that it uploads crash reports to Bugsplat instead of to our old hand-built system. Um, and so far that's going pretty well. Um, we're kind of getting ready to wrap up that evaluation. Um, but it's all happening. Uh, we also have a voice viewer uh, release candidate out that has a newer voice SDK. Um, there will be one, at least one more update to that. I'm running the next build now, um, but I just gave it to QA this morning, so it's not likely to get out until the beginning of next week. Uh, but uh, that adds fixes for some um, cases where the, the SL voice process crashes. It now recovers automatically. You don't to disable and enable voice anymore. It notices that it's gone and brings it back. Uh, hopefully that doesn't end up with too many people in too many crash loops, but uh, it seemed like a good change to make. Um, let's see. Other, there are th three other release candidates that will probably all appear next week. We will have a release candidate viewer uh, for Animesh. Um, a release candidate viewer for a bunch of rendering changes. Oh, and then the third one will be a little delayed. Uh, didn't realize we had a we had a simulator dependency, so there's another maintenance viewer waiting in the wings, but it it needs a simulator change that's just going out into RC next week. So uh, I believe that's the one that changes uh, how you. How you read your, uh, when you first log in, how you get your deferred IMs and um, group invites and friend invites, all that stuff. Um, and uh, they'll be more reliable now than they have ever been before. But uh, we have to wait for the server component to get out onto the, into the main channel before we release that one. So, uh, but that's coming and, and we'll have, we should have at least three or four RC versions next week. Uh, in addition to that, we have three project viewers in flight. Um, there's one for estate managers uh, or estate management. Um, it has a whole bunch of new features on, on manipulating the ban lists and all that. Um, and... Uh, we're looking for feedback from people who do that sort of thing on that. Um, there's the snapshot viewer, which is unchanged um, in recent history, but we'll try to get back to it soon. And um, the bakes on mesh viewer, which is just waiting for some changes in uh, the inventory system to be available grid wide um, that are currently uh, available on part of the grid or to some of the users, um, but it needs to be everywhere before we can put Bakes on Mesh out more broadly. Uh, but uh, that can be tested now on Aditi because uh, Aditi has everything that it needs. So that project viewer is usable on Aditi. Um, and I think that's the rundown. So the floor is open.
all very quiet. Are there any plans to change how LI is calculated? Um, there, there is a, there is definitely a plan to study that. I mean, we're we are studying that. We, I, I hope that we can come up with some changes to how land impact is calculated um, that will correct some, uh, shall we say, poor incentives that are that are. Um, uh baked into the current formulas um some of the current formulas were built based were were chosen based on on different resource constraints than we have now as we've moved things around and changed how we deliver assets um it's n no longer true and it's also true that some of the things we did, especially for levels of detail, um, create incentives for not very good content, and we're going to try to fix that. Um, it, if we change it, it will affect everything. Um, but we'll do that in a way, we will find a way to do that in a way that allows people to change their, their uh, yeah. Um, that change their their rest content gradually. Um, if if nothing else, what we will certainly do is build a version of the simulator that's calculating land impact both the old way and the new way on everything, and letting us know how much, how many parcels or how many regions we would affect. Right, exactly. But and, you know, how many things would be would 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 be auto returned if we were to throw the switch now, and um, then we'll try to come up with a way to uh, to give people a heads up that you know, hey, um, at at some point in the near future, your your content would will be over the over the limit according to the new calculations. But we'll this is something we're going to move very slowly and carefully on. Um, it is also part of that same effort is figuring out new calculations for um, uh, the avatar rendering complexity because a lot of the same issues. Are, um, of course, that one has less impact. Nothing turned if we change the arc, the arc formula. So um that is uh, that is one of the things that we've talked about early is possibly increasing the allowance um, at the same time, but we have to have to figure out whether there are going to be any bad effects. You know what the takeaway from this meeting will be, right? <laughs> that the LI impact uh, allowance is going to go up. Period. Uh, okay. It's it's possible, but what we'll, at the same time we'll be changing what the number means, so. It may be that we'll just change everything so that the numbers are all smaller instead of all bigger. Well, we'll have to figure it out. Um, so we're we're uh, we're working on we're working on all that, um, but it's kind of a slow, careful sort of a working. Not yeah yeah. So. That one, that one is is not imminent. Um, we did end up having having some issues that were ultimately a a, a result of the the last uh, time we raised land impact, which we've only relatively recently fixed. So. Uh, there were some regions that ended up with enormous sim states, and they would they had difficulty starting because they would time out reading their sim states. Uh, which was at least in part a result of the fact that they had more stuff in them. 
but that's good. We want you to be able to have more stuff. That's that's all part of the plan. As long as you keep your inventory neat. <laughs> right. Is the KDU downgrade sticking now? I wasn't aware that we had a KDU downgrade. Oh, you're referring to the problem with uh, open JPEG encoded images not displaying correctly? Yeah, uh, we will we will eventually go back. We're we're working. We're trying to work with KDU to get see if they can address that problem. Um, but <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't even know. Who's who's is that? Is that? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm not sure whether that's something that's ultimately intended for reliefs or if it's just a, a something for investigating this problem. I know he came up with a patch for OpenJPEG that causes it not to generate things that cause KDU problems. But um, yeah, we we got yours, Kitty, and um, there's he, he fiddled with that a lot. So, um, uh, whether whether or not we can get a version of KDU that's tolerant of that particular uh, change, I, I don't know. Yeah. Right. So we're. We're shuffling with that. The um, viewer TCO is is mostly the the uh, the texture caching rewrite, and uh, I expect that that will be working its way out through the through the pipeline before too very long. Yeah, and Open JPEG fixes, Open JPEG integration fixes. Um, so that's that's coming along as well. Soon, we need to get the uh, get an inventory. Uh, no, not today. <laughs> no, not tomorrow. Um, yeah. We need to get a uh, an inventory uh, patch out on out on Aditi. Uh, pouting helps. I, I type faster when people pout. Um, <laughs> Uh, we need to get an inventory patch out on a DD, and then we can start rolling out simulators for people to play with. Cookies definitely help. Oh, hey, did anyone? Uh... Try out the estate access management viewer. I hear it's great. I mean, I know Worley tried it.
please do go follow those bugs, Worley. Um, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, to uh, get feedback and uh, turn this one around pretty quickly. It seems like the sort of thing we really want to get into as many users' hands as possible. A um, couple of couple of sort of global upcoming things. We have uh, a what we hope will be a very short um, maintenance window that we're going to have to do on what, what was the date again? It's it's the crack of dawn or before the crack of dawn. It's the crack of dawn on Monday. Let on me get Monday. the blog post. Right. Um, where logins will be um, shut down for a bit. We're having to do some upgrades in the back that require stopping things. We don't have to do that very often, but every, there you go. Every now and then, there's only one way to do it. Um, uh, so. Do you know that the scheduled time has moved? It was scheduled for later in the day, and we've moved it up to the crack of dawn. Um, and we are also planning on upgrading our JIRA to a much newer version of JIRA. Uh, I believe that's scheduled for next Thursday. Um, uh, uh, unless Worley breaks it. <laughs> right. I mean, that's always a caveat, really. It's not that Worley's the only person testing it, but... Your brokenness wasn't all that broken. It was a little break. Small break. But um, probably not a, a blocker. We'll, we'll figure that one out. Um, so we're, so some, you know, some infrastructure upgrades happening, and that's, that's all a good thing. Right, might turn turn out to be a little bit of a pain for us for a while until we get it fixed, but that's we can live with that. That's correct, Worley. Cloning it internally seemed to be okay. Oh, well, that's not going to be a problem then. Right. Well, it might be a problem because our some of our internal workflows rely on cloning uh, within the same project. So um, it will be a problem, but we can probably work around it for now. Um, after the upgrade, uh, if you, whenever you log in, it will refresh your uh, email address based on whatever's in the Second Life account. So if you've been having trouble with your sending email to an address you wish you didn't have to send have it sent to anymore, um, that will be fixed. Yeah. Um. It'll probably be the, other than cosmetic things. That'll probably be the biggest user visible effect. The biggest user visible effect will be the, the login screen to JIRA and that looks different. Uh, right. So I do expect that there will be some support load generated by that. Um, I, I think it's going to take a little bit of, you know, um, support contacts uh, before people get used to the new UI. Uh, anytime there's any sort of a change to the login UI anywhere on our properties, we get contacts, which is great that people are vigilant, but you should also expect that there will be some amount of 
frustration about it. Okay, other stuff? Are we done? Okie doke. Well, we will see you next time.